Halo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV. So today is another tutorial day. As you can see in the title, I'm going to talk about the integration of inverse trigonometric functions. And show you, of course, some pretty good examples. So let's go. I have a dream, that's all I need. The formula you need to remember is the integral of dv over square root of a squared minus b squared is equal to x sine of v over a plus c. And the second formula is the integral of dv over a squared plus v squared is equal to 1 over a arctan of v over a plus c. Anyway, this formula can be derived using a trigo substitution. So let's try some problem using this formula. Okay, let's integrate dx over square root of 16 minus x squared. So this is look like arc sine formula. So a a squared is equal to 16. And a is equal to the square root of 16 which is 4. And v squared is equal to x squared. So, v is equal to the square root of x squared, which is x. Now, let's get the derivative of v and x. So, equal to dv and dx. Now, let's input this value into the problem. So, this is equal to the integral of dx, which is dv, over the square root of 16 which is a squared minus x squared which is v squared so notice that we follow the arc sine formula therefore this is equal to arc sine of v over a plus c however v and a is equal to x and 4 respectively so we must put the value of a and v into the answer so our our final answer is equal to arc sine of v which is x over a which is 4 then plus c hence this is our final answer okay let's proceed to the second example the second example Let's integrate 2x dx over square root of 25 minus x squared. So again, this is look like our sign formula. So a squared is equal to 25. And a is equal to the square root of 25 which is 5. And v squared is equal to x squared. I'm sorry, this is x raised to 4. So therefore, v squared is equal to x raised to 4. So, our v is equal to x squared. And let's get the derivative of v and x squared. So, this is equal to dv and 2x multiplied by dx. And if you want to get the value of dx, just divide both sides by 2x. So dividing both sides by 2x. And notice that the 2x will be cancelled out. So dx is equal to dv over 2x. Now let's input this value into the problem. Therefore, the integral is equal to 2x over the square root of 25 which is a squared minus x raised to 4 which is b squared 
multiply by dx which is dv over 2x. So multiply by dv over 2x. And notice that 2x will be cancelled. So the integral now is equal to dv over the square root of a squared minus b squared. Hence, we follow the arc sine formula. Therefore, this is equal to arc sine of v over a plus c. But v and a is equal to x squared and 5. So, therefore, our final answer is equal to arc sine of v, which is x squared over a, which is 5, 10 plus c. So, this is our final answer. Okay, let's proceed to the third example. For the third example, let's integrate dx over 9 plus x squared. So, this is look like our tan formula. So, a squared is equal to 9. And a is equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. And v squared is equal to x squared. So, v is equal to x. Now, let's get the derivative both sides. So, this is equal to dv and dx. Now, let's plug in this value into the problem. So, the integral now is equal to dx, which is dv over 9, which is a squared plus x squared which is b squared now notice that it's a formula for our arc tan so this is equal to 1 over a arc tan of v over a plus c but v and a is equal to x and 3 therefore our final answer is equal to 1 over a which is 3 then arc tan of v which is x over a which is 3 plus c. Hence, this is our final answer. Now, let's proceed to the last example. So for the last example, let's integrate x dx over 4 plus x raised to 4. So this is look like arctan formula. So a squared is equal to 4. And a is equal to 2. v squared is equal to x raised to 4. And v is equal to x squared. Now let's get the derivative both sides. So, this is equal to dv and the derivative of x squared which is 2x multiplied by dx. Now, let's get the value of dx by dividing both sides of 2x. So, dividing both sides 2x and 2x. So, notice that 2x will be cancelled. Therefore, dx is equal to dv over 2x. Now, let's input this value into the problem. So, this is now equal to the integral of x over 4 which is a squared plus x raised to 4 which is b squared times dx which is dv over 2x. And notice that the x will be cancelled and and since 1 half is just a constant, we can put that before the integral sign. So, let's rewrite into 1 half integral of dv over a squared plus b squared. And notice that we follow the arctan formula. Therefore, this is equal to 1 half times 1 over a arctan of v over a plus c and v and a is equal to x squared and 2 respectively 
Therefore, our final answer is equal to 1 half times 1 over a which is 2. So, 1 half times 1 half equal to 1 fourth. So, this is equal to 1 fourth arctan v which is x squared over a which is 2. Then, plus the constant of integration. So this is our final answer. Alright, that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please share your thought about it by commenting below. And if you learned something today, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see the other videos, link in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Stay tuned and see you on my next video. Thanks and God bless. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong